Hey guys, thanks for coming to check out my video today. Today I'm going to do a quick video about my May favorites. So let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and get started. So for the first thing that I have been loving for the month of May, why do I even need to put this on there? Because of course I'm going to be loving it. It is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne um, Pop Collection. Okay, here it is right here. So I will uh, leave a little link to my video reviewing this and using it in action um, down below in the description box or I'll put one of those card thingies right up here. So I've been loving this palette. It's beautiful. The blushes are so pigmented and beautiful. The highlights are amazing. I already have Champagne Pop and I love it, of course. So why would I not want it? Again, and why would I not love its little sister, uh, Prosecco Pop, right? So, I have that on today because I just filmed the video. I'm actually reviewing this. But, anyways, this is what it looks like on. I have uh, a little bit of combination of Prosecco Pop and um, Champagne Pop. And then I have the, uh, what's it called? Pamplemousse uh, Blush. And then I have on Rose Spritz as a blush topper. So, these are beautiful I don't know if you can see it totally but but anyways I absolutely love it and I still have this watches so I'll just go ahead and go over these since like I said I just did the video but here's champagne pop Prosecco pop and then these are the two mixed together so those are beautiful I definitely suggest if you haven't gone out and gotten this palette yet if you can when it becomes available again to go out and get this so, all right the next thing I've been loving for the month of May is the Lorac Pro palette. Whoops, there it is right there. I am so late to the game on this palette, especially because they're releasing the Lorac Pro 3, right? I got a thing from Ulta that I feel ahead and buy it, but I don't think I'm going to because I think the Anastasia uh, palette is coming out and or already came out. I'm not sure, but that one looks bomb, so I might have to get that one instead. Anyways, but here's the palette right here, and I will leave a link to my birthday haul that this palette was featured in. I'm so bummed. I don't know if you can tell like right here, but I scratched it. Like I dropped it and um, caught it, but I damaged it on, you know, in the process. That's typical for me. Okay. So these are the colors that I actually have on my eyes right now. I have on the black, the espresso, the gold, and the, I think it says LT. I don't know if that's for light I don't know but anyways the LT uh, bronze right here and these are the swatches of those so like I said the black the espresso the gold and the um, light bronze or LT bronze I don't know what that's supposed to be right but I don't know if you can see it on my eyes no, I can't see you <laughs> but anyways that's what it looks like right there oh I'm sure you could see it when I blink huh? I probably just seen this here with my eyes closed Hmm. Anyways, I really like this. I really like this palette. I'm enjoying it a lot. So, um, if you're in the market for a new versatile palette, this one is definitely great. So sleek, so you know, slim, sleek. Uh, definitely gonna be taking this to New York with me whenever I go because um, I can just stick this in my bag and keep it moving, right? All right. The next item I've been liking is the. Mary Luminizer by the bomb. So they had a sale, and of course, I had to pick this up. Here it is, right here. I got a sample of this in an Ipsy bag, and I loved it. Well, I got it on eBay because it was like 12 something dollars, and I was like, oh, hey, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah, it would have been pretty cool if it was real, but it wasn't real. Mm, Should have known, right? Anyways. I mean, the one I have that's not real is still a really good, like, highlighter, but, um, the real one is a lot better. So, uh, here it is right here. And like I said, they had like a 50, and there it is right there. They had like a 50% off, like, flash sale, so I think I got this for like $12, $13, something like that, right? The next thing I've been loving is this Urban Decay. This is their, I think it's called what, Revolution? Is that what it is? Um, lipstick collection, and these are going out of stock because they are replacing them with their new Vice collection, which looks awesome. But this is the color that I have on right now, and this is the color that I've been loving this month. I've literally been wearing it, like, almost every day. 
especially to work. Um, I don't know what it is lately, but I've been liking like really light colors. So this is in the color Liar. There it is right there. And it's on my lips right now. It's just a pretty nude color. I just think it, it just, I love it. It's a cream finish, soft, goes on nice, lasts a long time. Of course, since it's not a matte finish, it is, you're going to have to reapply after you eat and stuff like that, but I love it. The next thing I've been loving is this Master Fix by Face Studio. This is by Maybelline, and this is their Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. It says it's it says it sets, mattifies, blurs, and smooths. This was .21 ounces, and I am almost out of it, but you can see it right there. It was just a loose um, setting powder, and I like this to set um, my overall face after I put on my makeup. I kind of use this for the buffing technique, and this just helps me blend everything together. Whenever I do my makeup at work, I stick this in my makeup bag because it's easier than taking like my whole Kat Von D palette, which is what I really like to set my under eyes with. But whenever I go to work, I take this and use this to set my under eyes, and it really works. I really like it. And the last thing that I have been liking this month is the Garnier Skincare. It says Clean Plus Purifying Oil Free Cleansing Towelettes. Instantly draws out dirt, oil, and makeup, plus removes oil and mattifies. This is for oily skin. It's oil-free, and it says it says charcoal right here, but I don't, I don't know. Um, anyway, so these are just their makeup remover wipes, and they're in the black package. I'm not sure. I feel like, you know, oh, you get 25 wet towelettes in here. So I like to use these um, to either take off my makeup, but really I like to use them... Like, especially on days that I don't wear makeup, and my skin still gets oily all day. So, at the end of the day, you know, I'll just um, wipe off my face. Um, this just does a good job before I actually do, like, my skincare routine of getting all that extra dirt and makeup and stuff like that off. And then I'll go ahead and wash my face and moisturize and all that. But I really like these. Um, they don't have a strong scent. They smell a little different. These right here, um, these are way more wet. Like, there's a lot of whatever it is that they dip these into to get them wet to help take off your makeup. Um, they definitely, these are saturated. So, I like that. Um, whereas, these are a little bit thinner and not so much. These are the Garnier for sensitive skin. I like I like these. Um, yeah, I think you get more. Oh, no, it says you get 25 in these, too. But this is only a dollar more, I think. This was $7.99 and $6.99, $6.99, Eh, I don't know. Ulta had on buy one, get one half off. So, that's always a good deal to go check out. Anyways, those are the products that I've been liking for the month of May. Um, go ahead and leave me in the comment section down below what you've been loving for the month of May and any products that you think I should go try out for the month of June. That force came out really funny. For the month of June, um... Because I just got a $100 gift card from AT&T for, like, moving and taking them with me. So, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Alright, guys, thanks. I'll see you next time. Bye.